Candidate among six finalists, three were from universities in the United Kingdom and two were from Singapore. Each pitched their design to a panel of judges at the final on the 26th of November this year. That's University of Cape Town master's student in the Department of Electrical Engineering in the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment, Kai Goodall. Goodall's pedal and spin foot cranked washing machine has bagged the RS Components International People Planet Products student design challenge the social innovator at heart joins us now on zoom to tell us more kai a very good morning to you thank you so much for joining us welcome to morning live good morning thank you for having me on the show it's an absolute pleasure man thank you for joining us now speak to us about your love for engineering and innovation and where it all started for you sure thank you so as an engineer i've realized that social responsibility as well as engineering for people is very important and this is actually my motivating factor behind all my designs as well as all my engineering innovations. And in the past, I've built a number of projects uh -huh. with communities always involved, and that's been two educational self-driving solar cars, which I've been using for educational outreach to high schools to encourage high school learners to study engineering, as well as a 3D printed multi-tool to help stop the spread of COVID-19 in shared communal spaces. So therefore, my washing machine innovation is right up my alley in social impact and social responsibility. And that's how I've always been motivated to do engineering as well as create these type of innovations. And that's what led me to my project. Now talk to us about the paddle and spin device and what the inspiration is behind it and how, and how does it work really? Okay, sure. So I'm currently, as you said, I'm currently doing my master's in electrical engineering at the sure. University of Cape Town. And my supervisor, Dr. David Oyudokin, basically found out about this project and it's a challenge run by RS Components and it's called the International People Planet Product Student Design Challenge and it's in partnership with Grassroots, as well as the Washing Machine Project. And the challenge was basically to improve the sustainability as well as the usability of the Divya Washing Machine, which is the Washing Machine Project's current hand crank washing machine that they distribute all around the world. So my design, I accepted the challenge with my design, and I came out tops with my washing machine innovation. And as you can see in these videos, it's very simple to use. It uses two foot pedals, which allow users to pump the foot pedals in an alternating fashion to wash their clothes, as well as any other laundry they may want to do, as well as it's been tested with an array of different users, starting with my 12-year-old brother and going all the way up to my 85-year-old grandmother, which proves that any user can use it with ease without any adjustments needed. And that's the beauty of my innovation. I see that it's not even uh, powered by electricity and it's cordless. So what really you know, drives the whole concept of it uh, washing the clothes so effectively? Okay, sure. So basically, this um, washing machine is needed for low-income and displaced people around the world. And that's why, you know, with limited electricity supply, as well as it can also be used by any person that would like to use less electricity to be more off the grid or sustainable whilst keeping their fitness levels up. And how it works is, it, as I said, it uses two foot pedals using connecting rods and a specialized cage setup, which allows the drum, which holds your clothes to be encased. And it's basically that direct drive system uses the user's power in the strong leg muscles to actually rotate the drum, as well as you can use normal detergent in the drum to wash your clothes, so no electricity required, and it's in the line of renewable energy, which is also very important to me as an engineer. Now take us through the process of designing the machine. What did that entail? Sure. So it started with rapid prototyping. The final design you see here isn't the one I started with. Mm -hmm. and. It's been a long process and I've started with a very simple design and I've been improving it up until this point. And the current prototype that you see now was the winning design of my, the competition, the RS Components competition. And now I will actually be improving the design because I've received funds from winning the competition and I'll be improving the design in order to make it better through field testing with a number of communities in South Africa. We'll actually be donating a number of these units to local townships and getting weekly feedback in order to get user feedback and improve the design as well as I've been contacted by another, a number of governments, as well as aid companies and other designers that are very enthusiastic about my project, as well as I'll be working with these stakeholders that have contacted me, as well as with the sponsors of the competition, RS Components, Grassroots, as well as the Washing Machine Project, to find the optimal way to improve my design, as well as to get it out to the people, the people being low-income people, as well as displaced people, as well as any person that would like to be more sustainable. And I actually welcome any collaboration, or if anyone would like more information, they can contact me on my email address, 
It's Kai Goodall at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. That's K A I G O D A L L. As well as you can connect with me on LinkedIn. As well as if you'd like to see updates on the final design, as well as when manufacturing will begin, you can also follow me on my Instagram, Kai Goodall, to see updates on this project, as well as all my other exciting engineering projects. Now, Kai, is, is the length of time discretionary or is there a, a stipulated standard time frame for you know, effective washing? Okay, sure. So because of the power of the user's legs, I was actually able to get the washing machine up to very high speeds of around 150 revolutions per minute. So the washing machine, you can wash your clothes in about 10 minutes. So you into your clothes the first time, you wash for about 10 minutes, then you do a rinse cycle and you wash for another five minutes. So it's actually very cost effective as well as time effective and allows people to, to get their washing done, improve their hygiene as well as their daily living conditions. Whilst so it's 10 minutes of pedal. constant pedaling? Um, 10 minutes of constant pedaling, but you don't actually have to pedal at such a speed. So as you can see by these uses here, you don't have to always be going at max speed like I said. Okay. And my 85-year-old grandmother, as you can see, there was using it with ease. So it's able to be used by many users with not that much effort. And that's the beauty of being foot crank compared okay. to hand crank. Okay. So, uh, I mean, what lessons and challenges that came with working on this project? Okay, sure. So I found that with conceptual design versus real design is always a major, there's always a challenge involved. So I mm-hmm. first designed this, obviously, conceptually, and then I actually went into the physical design, and there was many challenges that were involved. And I was actually able to overcome these through rapid prototyping, as well as just improving the design in a, in a way that was able to allow me to see all my problems I was facing and to improve them, as well as I had very good support from a local sustainable woodworking factory called Forest Creations, which actually will also be helping me now improve the design as well with the funds received from the competition in order to make this design much better and to get it out to as many communities as possible through my field testing, as well as once the field testing is done, we'd like to get these to communities all around the world. And through this challenge, I've actually I've learned a lot and I can apply this directly to my other engineering designs, which is currently my master's project, which is a self-driving solar car. It uses artificial intelligence, as well as solar tracking abilities, as well as I'm also running a whole bunch of art, educational outreach to high, local high schools using my engineering projects in order to excite the youth of South Africa to study electrical engineering in order for them to also help society through their future engineering designs. As well as I really think this has been a, a great experience for me and I'm very motivated to continue helping society through these designs. You know, Kai, I suppose that one important thing that people may want to know is the durability and the lifespan of this device. That's a brilliant question. And the amazing thing about this project is actually I've been used very basic materials such as mm-hmm. wood as well as steel. And it can actually be as built as well as repaired in any basic woodworking factory. And as you can see, the design is actually very robust using plywood and welded parts using steel. So if anything was to break, which I doubt, you can repair it basically anywhere in the world because these are skills, welding and woodwork are known all around the world. And it's actually able to then boost the local economy in any country that it's deployed to. And it doesn't require any special manufacturing processes or any molding or anything to actually be built, only simple woodwork and steel, which makes it very, very strong. So the lifespan should be very long, Mm -hmm. sure. You, you, you are described as a social innovator at heart. So what is it about solving challenges that is so close to your heart? Okay, sure. Thank you. So I definitely think it's the whole knowing that you should be very resp- social responsible as well as engineering for people and keeping the end user as well as societies that may have any problems and thinking, you know, how can I solve these problems through your engineering designs? And I think this has always been very motivating for me and it's allowed me to actually now want to continue in the line of engineering product development, as well as innovation to help society find any problems that need solving through my designs, as well as to create new opportunities to increase social impact, as well as development going, for future, going into the future. And this is, like I said, with all my engineering projects, that's why I'm running educational programs to encourage the youth, the youth through my um, advanced solar cars, to actually also want to do engineering. So it's also encouraging the youth, also really motivates me, as well as actually me at helping society. So thank you.
Do you have a distribution plan for this device, Kai? I mean, are you going to sell it individually and directly to the public, or are you going to supply retail shops? Okay, sure. Thanks. So currently, I'm actually working with the sponsors of the project, mm -hmm. as well as anyone that would like to contact me. So please do contact me on my email address. Again, it's kaigoodle at gmail.com. And my plan at the moment is I'm in the final phase of the design, so actually improving my prototype that you see in these videos, and basically with the field testing and improving it. And once I've finished the final design, I will actually then be creating distribution networks with the sponsors as well as any other stakeholders that would like to contact me to actually do serious manufacturing to get it out to as many communities as possible. And those communities are both low income and displaced people, so refugee camps, townships, as well as any person, so individuals that would like to own one of these washing machines to increase their sustainability as well as their fitness you know, doing their washing without electricity, maybe during a power cut. Mm. So definitely a win-win on both sides. All right, Kai Goodall, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. You're such a, an innovation maverick. Uh, and uh, thanks to you for having come up with such an innovation. Thank you very much. I'll oh. keep working hard on my designs. All right, cool. Thank you. Well, that was, uh, you know, Kai Goodells, and he's been speaking to us about the pedal and spin foot crank washing machine, which has bagged the RS Components International People Planet Product Student Design Challenge. Well, the social innovator, that was uh, Kyle Goodell there.